and struggles. Kat says its ridership is up and it doesn't have as many unfilled positions as before. Yeah, the interim CEO says it's because of more consistent service. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson shows us what's behind those improvements. From low ridership to low morale, CATS has been working to make changes. There was a perception that CATS was not reliable. CATS interim CEO Brent Cagle telling Charlotte City Council they've been focusing on three different categories. Safety and security, state of good repair, meaning having reliable systems and fleet, and valuing employees and improved recruitment and retention efforts. And one of the reasons morale was, was low is we were lacking communication or, or robust communication tools with our employees. According to CATS, they're now at a 10% vacancy rate, an improvement from before when it was 20 to 25%. Another improvement is that ridership is up 18%. We are still lower than we were pre-COVID, but we're at about 65% recovery from pre-COVID, which is in line with most transit agencies across the country. Still several Charlotte City Council members giving Kegel kudos for some of the progress made. First, let me just thank you for prioritizing key investments to restore public trust in CATS. Now, moving forward, CATS will continue to work on microtransit, better buses, and continued investment in safety and security. We're not perfect, but we're much better. Reporting in South End, Lexi Wilson, WCNC Charlotte.